Managing your small business involves constant innovation, adaptation, and critical decision making. But what if you could transform these challenges into opportunities? In this video, we'll uncover the secrets to effective small business management, sharing strategies that have fueled local small business growth and brought about tremendous success. Join us on this exciting journey and prepare to revolutionize the way you run your business. Stay tuned. Running a small business isn't easy. With a multitude of responsibilities from product development and marketing to customer service, it can be overwhelming to manage your small business. From hiring the right team, motivating them, making crucial business decisions, and fostering local small business growth, the challenges are numerous and diverse. Outdated methods of handling these responsibilities in isolation can often lead to inefficiencies, missed opportunities, and reduced productivity. The lack of a coordinated approach can stall your business growth, leaving you stuck in a constant cycle of putting out fires instead of proactively developing your business. The stakes are high when it comes to small business management. A single misstep can potentially disrupt your entire operation. Without an effective management system, you can find yourself struggling to maintain employee morale, make informed decisions, or achieve growth. But what if I told you there's a better way? An effective management system is the answer. It can help you streamline operations, improve decision making, and enhance productivity, ultimately driving your business toward growth. In this video, we'll dive deep into the key principles and strategies of effective small business management. We'll explore topics like setting clear goals, developing a solid business plan, leveraging technology, and fostering a positive work culture. By implementing these practices, you can enhance your business's performance, make informed decisions, and overcome challenges that come your way. Remember, being a manager is not a destination, but a journey of constant learning and adaptation. We've compiled all our insights and expertise into a comprehensive program to train the system of management in 12 weeks. The link to register is in the description below, so make sure to check it out. To demonstrate the concepts, let's look in on Juliana, the owner of her own architecture business. Now, Juliana doesn't actually exist. She is a con conglomeration of stories from many of our clients. Later, we'll also meet Richard, who is again a conglomeration of other clients. So, we find Juliana sitting in front of her laptop. She sighs as she closes her laptop, glancing at the clock, <laughs> midnight again. She rubs her tired eyes as she made her way to her bedroom, carefully avoiding the piles of sketches, sample materials, and paperwork scattered around the dining room table that served as her office. Another long day running her growing architecture firm, and it seemed there was always more to do. Emails to answer, bids to prepare, clients to follow up with, not to mention trying to juggle her son's schedules and needs as a single mom. She was thrilled that her business was taking off after leaving the security of the firm a few years ago, but there never seemed to be enough hours in the day. As Juliana crawled into bed, her mind raced with unfinished tasks and worries about the future. Will she be able to keep up with the workload? Are they taking on too many projects? Do they have the resources and people needed to deliver quality work on time? And the constant concern over finances. Will there be enough income this month to cover expenses and payroll? The stress and lack of sleep were taking a toll Juliana knew something had to change. She needed a better system to manage it all. The projects, the pipeline, the client communications and deadlines. There had to be a way to get more organized and efficient without sacrificing quality. Management is more than just a word. It's a system. Effective management extends beyond task management. It empowers individuals, nurtures their talents, and enables them to reach their full potential. It's a comprehensive system that allows you to steer the future of your business, 
maximize performance, and achieve sustainable growth. To establish a successful management system, always remember that you are not managing people. You are managing results. Let's check in on Juliana. She was determined to get better control over her growing firm. She decided to start having weekly status meetings with her team to stay on top of all the projects. During the meetings, Juliana would grill each team member on their tasks and timelines. She demanded they account for each hour worked and get her approval before making any changes. At first, the micromanaging seemed to work. Juliana felt more in the loop on details as she hovered over the team. The problem soon emerged. Important communications were falling through the cracks as Juliana bottlenecked all decisions. Team members wasted time getting her sign-off on minor changes, stifling productivity. Mistakes happened as people second-guessed themselves, trying not to upset Juliana. Nearing a major client deadline, Juliana discovered the lead designer had changed a plan element several days prior without consulting her. Furious, Juliana redid the work herself, delaying submission. The client was unhappy with the last-minute changes. Burned out and frustrated, Juliana knew she couldn't sustain this level of oversight. There had to be a better way to manage the business without micromanaging people. She needed a system that provided visibility and accountability while empowering her team. That's when Juliana decided it was time to implement a project management system to align the team and streamline workflows. This key step helped transform not only her firm's efficiency, but also Juliana's mindset and leadership approach. As a small business owner, you have to juggle multiple roles, overseeing processes to ensure smooth and efficient operations. Management is a system that involves organizing, planning, and coordinating resources to achieve specific goals. On the other hand, leadership is an art that requires creativity, vision, and the ability to inspire and motivate others. The success of your business and the reflection of your management and leadership skills directly depend on the quality of your team. To build a strong team, you must invest in your people by providing them with the necessary tools and support for their growth. Excellent management and leadership go hand in hand, forming the foundation for a thriving and successful business. Moreover, as a small business owner, it is also essential to embrace the right mindset of an effective manager. By cultivating this mindset, you can empower and nurture competent and productive individuals within your team. Therefore, it is crucial to give priority to both effective management and strong leadership, while also cultivating the right mindset. These elements are the key to unlocking the true potential of your business. So what exactly is a management system? At its core, a management system is a framework that helps organizations effectively plan, implement, monitor, and improve their processes and practices. It provides a structured approach to achieving organizational goals and ensuring continuous improvement. Now, let's take a closer look at the key components of a management system. These components form the building blocks of a well-structured and efficient system. They include, first, policies and objectives. Clear, concise policies and objectives form a strong foundation for a management system. They guide the organization's mission, vision, values, and goals. By defining these elements, the organization sets direction, enables decision-making, and ensures accountability for achieving desired outcomes. Well-defined policies and objectives are crucial for a structured and purpose-driven management system. Next, planning. This component involves strategic planning, which includes analyzing the current situation, setting specific and measurable targets, and defining detailed action plans to achieve those targets. It ensures that resources such as time, money, and personnel are allocated effectively and that everyone involved is aligned and working collaboratively toward a common goal. By implementing this comprehensive approach, organizations can optimize their performance and increase their chances of success. Next, 
Implementation. Once the plans are in place, it's time to put them into action. This crucial component involves executing the defined processes, tasks, and activities in a systematic and efficient manner to achieve the desired outcomes. By taking deliberate steps and making tangible progress, organizations can effectively drive toward their goals, making the most of their resources and maximizing their chances of success. With a clear focus on implementation and a commitment to continuous improvement, the execution phase plays a vital role in realizing the envisioned results. Next, monitoring and measurement. To ensure the effectiveness of a management system, it is crucial to consistently monitor and measure performance. This vital component involves diligently collecting relevant data, thoroughly analyzing insightful metrics, and proactively identifying specific areas for improvement. By comprehensively examining and evaluating performance, organizations can drive continuous enhancement and achieve optimal outcomes. Fifth, review and improve. Continuous improvement is a fundamental factor in driving the success of a management system. The pivotal component entails consistently reviewing the system's performance, meticulously identifying areas with potential for enhancement, and proactively implementing the necessary changes. By perpetually striving for improvement, organizations can optimize their processes, boost efficiency, and maximize their chances of success. These steps form a complete framework for effective management. By diligently following these steps, organizations can successfully build a system that allows them to reach their full potential and unlock the true power of their teams. Now, let's explore practical steps that a small business manager can implement to construct a robust management system from the ground up. Here, we'll provide valuable insights on selecting the right tools and strategies tailored to your specific needs. The first step is to outline the process. Building a management system requires careful planning and consideration. Start by identifying the key areas that need to be addressed, such as operations, finance, human resources, and customer relations. Next, select the right tools. It's important to pick tools that match your business goals and needs. Look into different management software, communication platforms, and productivity tools that can make your operations smoother and more efficient. Next, implement these strategies. Every business has unique needs, so it's important to develop tailored strategies that work for you. Consider factors such as your industry, company size, and target market when implementing management strategies. Step four is to continuously improve. Building a management system is an ongoing process. Regularly evaluate your system, gather feedback from employees, and make adjustments as needed. This will ensure that your management system remains effective and adaptable to changing circumstances. With these steps and tips, you're well on your way to building a solid management system for your small business. Remember, it's all about careful planning, selecting the right tools, implementing tailored strategies, and continuously improving. Let's dive into the advantages of having a solid business management system. In today's competitive business landscape, an effective business management system is vital for small businesses. Here are the top three benefits. First, streamlined operations. A well-implemented management system empowers small businesses to streamline their day-to-day -day operations effectively. By organizing tasks and ensuring seamless execution, businesses can achieve optimal efficiency, resulting in cost reduction and improved customer service. Moreover, a robust management system establishes a solid foundation for growth and scalability, enabling businesses to adapt and thrive in an ever-changing market. Through harnessing the power of streamlined operations, small businesses can position themselves for long-term success and sustainable growth. 
Next, we have improved decision making. A management system is a powerful tool that empowers small business owners and managers to make informed decisions. It provides access to accurate and up-to-date information, enabling them to analyze data and trends. This in turn drives growth and success for their businesses. By effectively tracking and monitoring aspects such as sales, inventory, and customer behavior, they can identify areas for improvement and implement strategies to optimize performance. This comprehensive approach to decision-making helps small businesses stay competitive in today's dynamic market and achieve their long-term goals. Next, increased productivity. Boosting productivity is not only important, but also a top priority for any small business. The implementation of a robust management system is critical as it provides a wide range of tools and processes that can optimize workflows, eliminate bottlenecks, and enhance collaboration among team members. By streamlining operations and fostering a more efficient work environment, businesses can experience a significant increase in productivity, leading to improved performance and ultimately greater success. So whether you're early in your business or an established small business, incorporating an efficient management system can have a profound impact. From streamlined operations to enhanced decision-making and increased productivity, it offers a multitude of benefits that can truly make a difference in your organization. Now remember, Juliana. Well, once she made the decision to implement a management system, Juliana called a team meeting and presented her plan to implement the new system. The team was on board and excited about the possibilities. It took 12 weeks to learn all the aspects of the system and start get, to get it integrated into their culture. However, after only a few weeks of fully transitioning to using the new management system, soon it was second nature. Juliana was amazed at how much smoother and less stressful things became. She could instantly see the status of projects and what needed attention. Team members could collaborate more efficiently, reducing duplicated effort. Billable time was tracked automatically, giving Juliana useful data and insights. Now, when Juliana's head hits the pillow, she feels a sense of accomplishment, knowing the business is running smoothly. She is confident in her growing success, thanks to bringing her firm into the modern age with an effective management system. If you're feeling a bit like Juliana, be sure to register for our next management training program by clicking the link in the description. This 12-week program will guide you to have the kind of management system that has Juliana sleeping peacefully, knowing that her business is thriving. Small businesses are the backbone of our economy, but your journey is not without hurdles. One of the biggest challenges you face is navigating through the sea of obstacles that come your way, including limited resources, fierce competition, and the need to adapt to changing market trends and customer demands. Managing finances and manpower, ensuring efficient processes and operations, and competing with larger and more established businesses are all part of the day-to-day -day operations that you and your managers have to handle. Overcoming these challenges is crucial for the growth and success of local businesses. So let's delve into these challenges and examine them closely. So the first challenge that small business owners often face is the challenge of superheroitis, where they believe they must do everything themselves to ensure it's done right. However, it's crucial to recognize the value of building and empowering a team that contribute to the business's growth and success. Now, let's look in on our other business owner. Richard sighed as he looked at the clock. It was already 9 p.m. and he was still at the office trying to finalize the schedule for next week. This was the third night in a row he had stayed late sorting out issues that should have been handled by his managers. When he first started his small chain of coffee shops 10 years ago, things had gone smoothly. He hired competent general managers to run each location and gave them autonomy to make day-to-day -day decisions. 
but over time his manager started bringing even minor problems to him instead of solving themselves. At first, Richard didn't mind swooping in to fix things. It made him feel needed and gave him a sense of control. But now his days were consumed with putting out fires rather than focusing on the big picture. Growth had stalled because he was so busy handling operational details. Richard knew something had to change. He decided to implement a more rigorous management system across all the shops. He invested time up front to define clear roles, create goals and metrics for success, and establish regular processes like weekly manager meetings and annual reviews. He also focused on developing his manager's leadership skills, emphasizing competencies like communication, team building, and effective use of systems. Instead of always jumping in to solve problems himself, he worked with his managers on solving issues collaboratively. It was difficult at first for everyone to adjust to the new system. But over time, Richard saw the benefits. Managers became more empowered in their roles and turned to him less frequently for help. He could finally step back and focus on long-term strategy and growth initiatives. Within a year, the improved management structure had le led to less turnover, higher sales, and expansion plans for new locations. Richard realized the power of building an effective management framework rather than trying to be the lone hero. Though he still cared deeply for his team, he now channeled that energy into developing their potential rather than just fixing their problems. Another hurdle for small businesses is the constraint of limited resources. With restricted budgets, manpower, and access to capital, managers must think creatively to find innovative solutions and maximize their potential. A few years after implementing the more rigorous management system, Richard faced a new challenge. The economy took a downturn and suddenly capital was tight. He no longer had the budget to open new locations or even hire additional staff at existing shops. Richard gathered his team and explained the situation. Rather than lamenting their limited resources, he challenged them to think creatively. How could they spruce up the shops, streamline operations, and improve the customer experience with minimal investment? The team rose to the occasion. The managers scrutinized their budgets and found small tweaks that saved on supplies. Employees volunteered for extra unpaid hours to deep clean and freshen up the decor. One barista suggested using social media promotions and loyalty programs to better engage customers. Within a few months, sales were back on the rise despite no additional spending. The crisis had brought about the team's scrappy entrepreneurial spirit. They discovered innovative solutions by maximizing their existing resources. Richard was proud of what they accomplished with so little. He realized constraints can actually boost creativity and help identify untapped potential. Now, whenever facing a tight budget, he and his team brainstorm how to work smarter, not just throw more money at the problem. The resource limitations made them even more unified and nimble over the long run. Furthermore, small business managers find themselves juggling multiple responsibilities and playing various roles from overseeing sales and marketing to handling customer service and managing employees. It can be demanding and draining. Juliana's days were so consumed with constantly putting out fires, answering client emails, reviewing design plans, arranging contractor bills. The volume was endless. She was deep in the weeds of tactical details losing sight of the big picture goals for her firm. There was no time for strategic thinking or business development. Juliana staggered from one urgent task to the next, unable to focus on what really mattered most. Her stress levels were through the roof. The breaking point came when she forgot about an important client meeting because she was too busy researching door hardware. Juliana apologized profusely, but the damage was done. That night, Juliana reflected on how reactive she had become, allowing the tyranny of the urgent to rule her days. Her dreams of growth and success were being choked by a flood of mundane tasks. It was clear something needed to change. 
she resolved to step back and view her firm with a wide-angle lens. Juliana realized she needed to focus on systems, not just putting out daily fires. The new project management platform helped her finally organize initiatives, delegate more efficiently, and keep sight of bigger goals. With the clutter and chaos now under control, Juliana could think and act more strategically. She vowed to never lose perspective again, guided by the systems that enabled her to lead amidst the daily details. Juliana was determined to steer her firm toward the vision she had set out to achieve. Additionally, managers must stay updated with changing market trends and customer demands to maintain competitiveness. In today's fast-paced business environment, continuous evaluation of company operations and strategies is vital for improvement. Staying agile and proactive is the key to staying ahead of the game. Richard prided himself on constantly staying ahead of market trends. But lately, changes were happening faster than ever before. Customers were demanding new menu options, mobile ordering, and loyalty programs. Competitors were rolling out innovations almost overnight. Richard realized his current management tactics were too reactive. Yes, his team executed well once initiatives were launched, but they needed to be more proactive about identifying trends in the first place. So Richard made continuous market evaluation a priority. He tasked managers with monitoring new developments and customer sentiment weekly rather than just quarterly. He added an agenda item at manager meetings to discuss potential innovations. Managers were encouraged to pilot test new concepts frequently. So Richard's shops became known for their ever-evolving offerings. By staying agile and keeping a pulse on market shifts, they could rapidly roll out relevant new initiatives before competitors. Richard learned that in today's fast-paced environment, Proactive evaluation and adaptation is key to remaining ahead of the curve. Now remember, you can learn to implement this in your business and bring it to your managers or the people you see as management potential. Click the link in the description below to register for our next, our next effective management training program. This 12-week program will absolutely transform your business. Developing effective strategies for small business management is crucial for overcoming challenges and achieving success. Let's explore some key strategies that can help propel your business forward. The first one, develop a well-rounded business plan. A comprehensive business plan is the bedrock of success. It establishes your objectives, identifies your target market, and outlines strategies to foster sustainable growth. This plan should encompass specific goals, measurable objectives, budgeting and projections, marketing strategies, and performance benchmarks. By providing a clear roadmap, businesses can allocate resources effectively and improve overall efficiency. As part of implementing the new project management system, Juliana created a comprehensive business plan. She outlined her firm's objectives, financial goals, competitive analysis, and target markets. The plan helped Juliana identify what services to focus on and which projects brought in the most profit. By spelling out growth strategies and key hires needed, the plan gave Juliana a roadmap. She could now align the team and systems to support the firm's overall direction. With thoughtful planning and efficient systems in place, Juliana felt in control of her business for the first time. She was leading with intention and purpose, not just reacting day to day. Productivity increased as everyone worked toward common goals outlined in the plan. Juliana finally had peace of mind knowing she had a solid foundation in place to strategically grow her firm. The next one, embracing innovation and adaptability. Create an atmosphere to that fosters both innovation and collaboration within your team. Embrace technological advancements and adapt to ever-changing market trends to stay one step ahead of the competition. It is crucial to cultivate an environment where innovation and collaboration thrive. 
Encourage your employees to generate creative solutions, enabling them to overcome challenges and outperform competitors. Additionally, establishing strong relationships with local small businesses can provide valuable resources and open up new avenues for growth. When the pandemic hit, Richard knew he had to adapt quickly or risk losing his business. As coffee shops were ordered to close their seating areas, takeout and delivery demand skyrocketed. But Richard's operations were built around an in-store cafe experience. Thankfully, the solid management system Richard had established enabled them to rapidly innovate. He gathered his team and they brainstormed solutions under tight deadlines. His managers took on overhauling layouts to accommodate social distancing, setting up online ordering systems. Employees were cross-trained to handle increased takeout and delivery orders. Menu options were adjusted to highlight items that traveled well and catered to new customer needs. It wasn't easy, but Richard's team met each new challenge with agility. Because roles and responsibilities were clearly defined, everyone could quickly execute the necessary changes. The strong communication channels and regular meetings kept everyone aligned as they iterated on new ideas. Within a matter of weeks, Richard's shops had been transformed into bustling takeout and delivery operations. Customers responded positively and sales rebounded, despite the difficult circumstances. Richard was grateful for the management infrastructure that allowed them to navigate massive changes. It gave them the flexibility and alignment needed to keep up with the rapid shifts in customer demand during the upheaval of the pandemic. He knew they would emerge stronger. Next, invest in staff development and training. Your team is an invaluable asset. By investing in their development and providing training opportunities, you can enhance their skill and knowledge empowering them to contribute significantly to your business's growth. When you invest in staff development and training, you enable employees to take on new responsibilities and drive the success of your business. By fostering a culture of learning and adaptability, small business managers can build a resilient team that can overcome any challenge that comes their way. Richard knew his small team was the backbone of his coffee shop's success. But lately, their skills had stagnated and morale was low. Shop standards were slipping. Realizing he needed to reignite, reignite their potential, Richard decided to invest in staff development. He sent his shift leaders to the management training program. Baristas learned new specialty beverage techniques through an online course. Richard asked his coach to do team communication and collaboration sessions. He started monthly training sessions and offered tuition reimbursement for continuing education. Employees could shadow other roles to expand their skills. In just a few months, Richard was astounded at the difference. Morale and engagement were high. Employees eagerly took on new responsibilities, driving shop improvements. Knowledge sharing enhanced operations across the whole team. By investing in their growth, Richard empowered his staff to take the business to new heights. He realized his team was the most valuable asset and training unlocked their full capability. Their skills and passion now propelled the business forward. Next, utilize technology to streamline operations, enhance efficiency, and boost productivity. Stay up to date with the latest tools and software that can automate tasks and save valuable time leveraging technology can greatly aid small business managers in maintaining organization and maximizing efficiency. From automating processes to streamlining data management systems, a plethora of tools are available to optimize op operations and ensure smoother workflows. Juliana knew she had to implement something to help manage everything she needed tracked. So the next morning over coffee, Juliana decided to take action. She researched project management tools and online collaboration systems. She identified one that looked user-friendly and had the features she needed. Task lists, schedules, file sharing, time tracking, and more. Juliana called a team meeting and presented her plan to implement the new system. 
The team was on board and excited about the possibilities. They could now easily assign tasks, update project plans, share files, track time and expenses, and keep the entire team connected. It took a few weeks to fully transition to using the new system, but soon it was working well. Juliana was amazed at how much smoother and less stressful things became. She could instantly see the status of projects and what needed attention. Team members could collaborate more efficiently, reducing duplicated efforts. Billable time was tracked automatically, giving Juliana useful data and insights. Next, measure what matters. Identify key performance indicators or KPIs and measure them regularly. This will provide valuable insights into the success of your strategies and help you make data-driven decisions. Richard used to get just glance over sales numbers for his shops, but the data lacked context. So he started tracking metrics aligned to his goals like customer satisfaction, employee retention, and repeat purchase rates. Managers set targets and collected data weekly. In regular meetings, Richard and his managers reviewed the metrics. They could now spot problems early and course correct quickly based on the numbers. With data guiding their focus to what truly mattered for their business, Richard had insight to make better decisions. It was a game changer. Next, develop a customer-centric approach. Keep your customers at the core of your business. Grasp their needs, offer exceptional service, and cultivate enduring relationships. This customer-centric approach will distinguish you from your competitors. Placing your customers at the heart of your business is vital for long-term success. By comprehending their needs and preferences, you can tailor your products or services to meet their expectations and foster robust relationships with your customer base. As her architecture firm grew, Juliana realized she needed to overcome and become more customer focused. With new systems in place to manage projects, she had time to step back and assess the client experience. Juliana interviewed her customers and discovered they often felt confused by the design process. They wanted more guidance and communication. To remedy this, Juliana developed a customer journey map, outlining each touch point from initial contact through project completion. She identified gaps and areas for improvement. Juliana started sending new clients a welcome kit, explaining what to expect. She instituted regular project updates to keep clients in the loop on progress. Feedback was encouraged throughout the process and incorporated into designs. Clients felt truly heard and involved. These measures resulted in happier customers and increased referrals. Juliana's firm developed a stellar reputation for client service, fueling their continued success. She had successfully transitioned to leading a customer-centric firm. Next, implement efficient operational processes. Enhance your operational processes to eliminate inefficiencies and boost productivity. Identify bottlenecks and optimize workflows for maximum efficiency. Streamlining your business operations can greatly improve efficiency and productivity. By optimizing workflows, automating tasks, and leveraging technology, you can save time and resources while achieving superior outcomes. Previously, Juliana's firm struggled with bottlenecks. Designed would pile up waiting for her approval, overloading Juliana while her team idled. Client requests got missed in an inbox overload. The new system brought order to the chaos. Projects were planned out in advance with assigned tasks and timelines. Automated workflows kept projects moving smoothly from one step to the next. Team members could now handle approvals and requests within established parameters, freeing up Juliana. Client emails were routed to the right people automatically based on keywords. Real-time performance dashboards let Juliana identify any bottlenecks as they arose. She could quickly adjust workloads and priorities to optimize efficiency. 
the streamlined processes led to greater productivity and responsiveness. Projects delivered on time and on budget. Clients were impressed with the level of service. Juliana was amazed at how effectively the system eliminated hindrances and delays. Everything flowed smoothly across her now well-oiled firm, yielding major gains in speed and quality. Next, delegation versus abdication. Master the art of delegation by assigning tasks to the right individuals based on their skills and strengths. Avoid micromanagement and empower your team to take ownership of their responsibilities. To enhance productivity, it is crucial to possess the skill of effectively delegating tasks to staff members. By leveraging their individual strengths and expertise, you can optimize efficiency and ensure that every team member is making valuable contributions to achieve the desired outcomes. Richard used to have a hard time delegating tasks to his staff. He didn't trust that they could handle important responsibilities, so he would take on everything himself, micromanaging the details. Eventually, Richard was overwhelmed and burnt out from trying to do it all. Thankfully, his business coach noticed his delegation struggles. She worked with him on an effective approach. First, she had Richard identify tasks that could reasonably be handed to others. He learned to articulate expectations clearly and equip staff with the tools to succeed. His coach taught him to delegate in chunks and check progress in stages rather than abdicating whole projects at once. As his staff gained confidence, Richard's coach encouraged him to increasingly delegate larger initiatives, empowering his team with more responsibility. She had given him autonomy I'm sorry, she had him give autonomy, but also provide helpful coaching and feedback along the way. Soon, Richard was delegating tasks seamlessly. He now had more time for high-level work while also developing his team's skills. His coach transformed Richard's mindset around letting go of control. With her guidance, he mastered the art of delegation, a win for the whole business. Next. Track progress and set deadlines. Monitoring progress and setting achievable deadlines is crucial for timely completion of projects. Tracking progress allows for identifying areas of improvement and making necessary adjustments. Establishing deadlines fosters urgency and accountability, leading to a more organized and productive approach. These practices enhance productivity, efficiency, and overall success in personal and professional pursuits. Juliana's architecture projects used to drag on, lacking urgency. Without clear deadlines, teams missed milestones and clients grew frustrated. Implementing the project management software brought discipline through tracked progress and deadlines. Now Juliana could define key phases with target dates. As deadlines approached, the team hustled to complete deliverables on time. Juliana had visibility to ensure accountability. Projects ran smoothly and on schedule thanks to the focus infused by progress tracking and deadlines. Clients were impressed with the new efficiency. Juliana realized these simple yet powerful project management practices had transformed her firm's ability to execute flawlessly. Progress tracking and deadlines kept everyone aligned, driven, and on time. Next and final, focus on management competencies. Enhance management competencies and foster a culture of continuous learning in your organization. Invest in development programs to nurture talent and lead by example. Equip your team with essential skills to excel, creating a highly competent and adaptable workforce. Also, Evaluate team members in key areas like people management, communication, technical expertise, leadership, analytical skills, and personal development. By doing so, you can build a team capable of overcoming any challenge. Looking back, Richard recognized that transforming his management approach was the key to unlocking his team's potential. He enhanced his own leadership competencies through ongoing coaching, 
Richard role modeled continuous learning, creating a culture where employees were encouraged to develop new skills. He invested time and resources into formal leadership development programs. High potential employees were given opportunities to take on new challenges and lead key initiatives. Richard ensured his managers were equipped with the essential skills to guide their teams, setting clear goals, giving constructive feedback, delegating effectively, and leading by example. In annual reviews, Richard evaluated employees on key competencies beyond just basic job duties, communication, analytical abilities, people management, and leadership. Those needing development received tailored training. As a result, Richard had built an agile, high-performing team capable of overcoming any obstacle. Their competence and growth mindset powered the business through challenges and positioned them for future success. Richard had learned that a strong management foundation enables ordinary people to achieve extraordinary things, and for that, he was incredibly proud. Juliana had transformed her firm with more efficient systems and processes, but she knew lasting success depended on people, building a skilled team and culture poised for growth. She began investing heavily in leadership development, determined to foster talent within the firm. Juliana created mentorships, training programs, and continuing education. Her team was empowered to expand their capabilities through her nurturing approach. They could identify areas needing improvement and obtain the skills to excel. Juliana evaluated competency and development areas for each team member. She met individually to set goals and create plans to elevate their expertise. Soon she had cultivated an agile team brimming with talent. They approached each challenge with tenacity and innovative problem solving. By developing her people, Juliana had equipped her firm to scale new heights. Her steadfast commitment to learning forged an adaptive culture ready to thrive in any climate. She took pride in the team she had built, proof that investing in people yields the greatest returns of all. Their shared success stemmed from Juliana's vision to lead and nurture talent. In order to achieve success, it is crucial for small business owners to implement effective management strategies. By continuously learning, adapting, and applying practical knowledge, managers can elevate their businesses to new heights. It is essential to tailor approaches to meet unique challenges and needs. With the right tools and effort, small businesses can thrive and unlock their full potential. By incorporating these strategies into your small business management, you can establish a solid foundation for growth and achievement. Remember, you can transform the management of your business too. Click the link in the description to find out how. And that's a wrap for today's video. Before we go, let's recap the key points and emphasize the significance of effective management. Effective management is the foundation of success for any small business. It ensures smooth operations, maximizes productivity, and drives growth. However, it extends beyond decision-making and task delegation. It encompasses inspiring and guiding your team toward greatness. To have an effective small business management system, one must possess the ability to foster a positive work environment, cultivate innovation, and nurture the potential of each team member. The role encompasses more than just overseeing day-to-day -day operations. It involves empowering your employees to excel in their respective roles. Lead by example, communicate effectively, and inspire your team with a clear vision. Embrace challenges, adapt to change, and continuously strive for improvement. Remember, effective management is not solely a skill, it's a mindset. It revolves around creating a culture of success and growth within your small business. So go out there and make a difference. We love hearing from you. Please leave a comment below sharing your experiences, both positive and challenging, in your journey managing your small business. By sharing your insights, you not only enrich your own understanding, 
but also contribute to the community of learning that can help others navigate similar challenges. Your input is valuable to us and our viewers, so be sure to share your story below. Would you like to learn more about building an effective management system or other topics regarding business success? Yes? Great. Then there are a few things that you need to do right now. First, please like this video so I know you got value and I'll make more videos like this one. Second, subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video so that you don't miss a single piece of the valuable information we share. I'm Doug Barra. I believe it takes great courage to own a local small business. For the last 16 years, I've ensured that business owners like yourself get the time, money, and freedom you deserve. Be sure to click the link in the description to register for your management training program. Thanks for watching.